Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Samarian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about, well, the updates on the SCP legal case. But first, a message from our sponsor, or more accurately, a message from me for our sponsor. So, um, the Escape from Site 19 guys are running a bit of a uh, promotion right now, and if you purchase an Escape from Site 19 board game, which I did a whole review of on my channel. You can find a link in the description, but the long and short of it, and there will be also a link to their store and a uh, coupon code for it. Uh, but uh, the long and short of it is, is that it's a very high quality, well-produced uh, SCP board game um, that I think you will really enjoy. But if you purchase one right now, you can get this when day breaks special 001 card which if you play the game you'll you'll know what these actually do um basically they set up tasks that you have to complete for the particular game that you're playing um i really highly suggest that you go ahead and grab it now there will be a code in the description uh that code will be daybreak so use the daybreak coupon code and you will get 10 percent off of your purchase Let's talk now about the SCP uh, legal case. So uh, I'm going to put a timestamp in at the top of the description of this video so that you can skip to the update section if you're already mostly familiar with the with the actual uh, details of the case that we're dealing with here. But for those of you who aren't familiar with it or maybe need a refresher, um, what I can do for you is I can actually read directly from the SCP legal fundraiser, which is something where we raised as a community $164,355. Um, but I'm going to read from their uh, public release, which, let's be fair, is a little, uh, what's the word, P-R-E? A little bit public relations-y, uh, but it should be, you know, it's, it's communicating with the public. <laughs> But it, it, you know, it's it has a particular viewpoint on things. SCP community. A Russian man has illegally registered an illegitimate trademark for SCP within the Eurasian Customs Union. He has used this trademark to threaten and extort legitimate sellers of SCP merchandise. In addition, he has committed copyright infringement by violating the SCP content license. Creative Commons share alike attribution 3.0 doesn't say attribution on here. It really should. <laughs> we first updated the community about this situation six months ago, and now it has escalated. This man has recently resumed his efforts to threaten and extort competitors and has now begun to threaten SCP itself. He's used the illeg illegitimate trademark to shut down the official social media page of the Russian branch of the SCP Foundation wiki, as well as a separate fan art page. We attempted to negotiate with VK, the social media company in question, but so long as the trademark registration stands, they will abide by it. Now, he has followed this by making a ridiculous demand to be administrator of the Russian wiki, and that said wiki be twisted into an advertisement for his merchandise rather than the writing community that it is. These actions threaten not only the Russian wiki, but every SCP branch writer and fan around the world. We stand with SCPRU, reject these threats, and are organizing a lawsuit to annul his false trademark. Prevent copyright infringement and protect the community. As an organization of volunteers, this is a measure we do not often pursue due to the costs involved. Last May, we received many offers from generous SCP fans offering to donate to a legal fund. At the time, we did not accept any offers as we believe the situation could be resolved via diplomacy. With these new developments, this is no longer possible. As such, we humbly ask that anyone who loves SCP and has some money to spare donate to our legal fund in order to protect our global community. This is, I believe, yeah, it's closed. You, you can't donate anymore. Uh, this is, again, this is an update for people who aren't familiar with this, the case. I could go through the 16 updates, uh, but I'm going to just give you a basic summary of what's happened. They got a lawyer. I mean, they got a lot of lawyers, I think. They took it to um, the intellectual property court uh, in Russia, uh, and the announcement of the case's conclusion made it seem really like a really good thing. There was a lot of focus on the the, the positives, and there were some positives, let me be clear. Um, 
but there was also one big negative, and we'll talk about that in this update, because in this update, they reiterate what th happened last time around. Hello, everyone. We've got some news. It's not good, but it's not terrible either. On appeal, the previous court's ruling was upheld by the intellectual property court. That is, the previous, the main, the court, the first court they went to made a ruling. Uh, as a reminder, the previous court ruled, and now we can explain what the previous court actually ruled. The SCB Foundation name and logo were created by parties other than Duxon, Duxon being the individual who is at the center of this problem. Duxon did not commission their creation. The parties which created the SCP Foundation name and logo did not transfer their rights to Duxon, nor did they ever intend to do so. The actions taken by Duxon may, this is an important word, may be an act of unfair competition in and of themselves and could lead to an illegitimate monopoly due to using said trademark towards wares, works, and services not protected by said trademark. However, that ruling also leaves the trademark intact. The court chose not to address the issue at all. Make, they took no actions. Um, as they say here, the case is far from finished. And the, the, I should say, the original court decided not to take up the issue. The appeals court also chose not to take up that particular issue. The trademark is still intact. Nothing has... Nothing has fundamentally changed since the legal case has started. Let's put it that way. It hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't gotten better. But it was pretty bad to start with. So nothing changing is not great. The case is far from finished, though. I'm reading again from the thing. We are planning on appealing the decision to the next court up, the Intellectual Property Court Presidium, to challenge the ruling. Hopefully, we will not need to appeal again, but we will continue trying regardless until we have a definitive ruling protecting SCP for all content creators or all legal options are exhausted. We will continue to update you as the case unfolds. So I'm going to very briefly give you my opinion here, and this is very much opinion. This is not going to go anywhere. Asking a for a variety of very political reasons that we do not have time to get into, asking a Russian court to invalidate a Russian trademark when Russia is a first-to-file country, which means whoever files the trademark first gets it. But asking a Russian court to invalidate a Russian individual's trademark for non-Russian peoples, which is... Strictly speaking, not wholly true, but since most of this is coming in from the outside and not from the creators who are actually affected in Russia. Anyway, since this is coming from the outside, this is essentially for non-Russian individuals was always going to be a very, very long shot. Russia is not going to do that. They're just not especially I shouldn't say they're not going to do that. It's possible that we could still see this be reversed and that the trademark will be annulled and or invalidated. However, it's very, very unlikely. If it was Coca-Cola making this argument over a trademark, they'd have probably enough pull and clout to get this done. I'm sorry, the SCB Foundation is not that important. Not important enough for Russia to make some sort of uh, precedent ruling saying that, yeah, let's invalidate a Russian trademark for non-Russian into it. it's not going to happen. It's just not. Uh, I hope it does, though. <laughs> I really do. Um, and there's two things I want to say about this, because every time this comes up, people panic. Uh, this isn't going to mean anything for you if you're not in the, uh, what is it, the Eurasian Customs? Well, let me double check. Yeah, the Eurasian Customs Union, which is a alliance. Uh, it's a very small regional, well, small Russia's a huge country, but a small in number regional alliance that deals with uh, trademark in um, uh, Eastern Europe, roughly. And, and I think Central Asia a little bit, too. <laughs> Regardless, if you're not in one of those countries, you're basically going to be unaffected by this. And even if you are in one of those countries, you're not going to be in a it's just, you're not going to be unable to consume SCP fiction. There may be some difficulties with the SCP wiki the Russian branch, the SCP wiki. Uh, but I don't think they're intractable problems. Just put it that way. Um, so this isn't going to have, 
This is going to have very major effects on the SCP community. However, it is still very wrong, and it is going to have an outsized effect on the Russian wiki, and that is something that I personally... That's the part that bothers me the most, right? Like, the SC, the main SCP wiki is always going to be fine. The Art International partners are smaller and more vulnerable to this sort of bullshit. And there's no other way to put it. Uh, so it's very important, even if it's not going to affect them much, and even if it's not going to affect us, that we step up and help protect them as best as we can. I'm not saying that they're weak. I'm, they're just smaller. They just there's less people, and with less people, people it becomes harder to, to defend yourself. I don't think one of the off branches alone could have raised one hundred sixty four thousand dollars for a legal fund. Especially, but we as a, a whole community can. Um, but first of all, so no, don't panic. That was number one. There's a second very important thing is, and this ties into what I was just saying is don't blame the Russian wiki or Russians in general for this problem. This is one guy doing something that is uh, really annoying and very troubling, but it's not all Russian people and it's not the Russian. It's definitely not the Russian branch who are the most victimized by this problem. Um, yeah, I just want to cover those two points because every time this comes up, one of those two things happens and it really bothers me. Either people blame Russia and or Russians in general, or they panic and think that the SCP wiki is going to die. Even if we lose, if, you know, if they say his trademark is legitimate, I don't know what you're talking about. He can do whatever he wants to with it. That's not going to affect people outside of Russia. It's really going to hurt the Russian wiki. I'll tell you that. That sort of, a, but we're not going to get there. I don't think we're going to get there, but it won't. It's not a panic inducing thing. There are options. There are solutions that can solve it. And I just wanted to cover those two points. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. Pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kajmil, who's pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. And don't forget to go down to the description down there and check out the uh, the link to the uh, Escape from Site 19 uh, game. And get your special limited edition promotional When Day Breaks card. These are... Uh, by the way, this is a really high quality game. I just want to say that this is they, they put a lot of work into this. And I think you should uh, I think you should give it a look at the very least. Give it a look, even if you don't, you know, even if you don't purchase it. I think you should take a look and see if it's your kind of thing, because it's really cool. That's it. Thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here and I will see you all again on Thursday.